The general form of quadratic polynomial is ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's try to factorize x squared plus 7x plus 12. Since we cannot use any identity to factorize this polynomial, let us try to split the coefficient of the middle term. We can write it as x squared plus n1 plus n2 x plus 12. In this polynomial, a is 1, b is 7 and c is 12. We are trying to write the coefficient of the middle term as sum of two numbers. But we cannot just write it as the sum of any two numbers. There is another condition. It says that the product of these two numbers should equal the product of a and c. a is 1 and c is 12. So the product equals 1 multiplied by 12 which equals 12. So we have to think of two numbers such that their sum is 7 and their product is 12. Sometimes finding the combination of two such numbers is difficult. So the best way to look for such numbers is by taking a scratch paper and writing this as the product of two numbers. 12 can be written as 1 multiplied by 12. The sum of two numbers is 13 and what we want is 7. So these two numbers are not n1 and n2. 12 can also be written as 2 times 6. Again, the sum of 2 and 6 is 8 and what we are looking for is 7. Even these two numbers are ruled out. Do we have any other product combinations for 12? Yes, there is. 12 equals 3 times 4. And yes, the sum of 3 and 4 is 7. These were the two numbers we were looking for. n1 is 3 and n2 is 4. So we can rewrite the main polynomial as x squared plus 3 plus 4 times x plus 12. This step is called splitting the middle term. After this, all we have to do is expand the brackets and use grouping. We expand the brackets first. This equals x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 12. We make two groups, x squared plus 3x as one group and 4x plus 12 as the other. In the first group, the variable x is common. So we write the first group as x multiplied by x plus 3. In the second group, the number 4 is common to both the terms and can be written as 4 multiplied by x plus 3. As x plus 3 is common to both the terms, the expression reduces to x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4. This is the factorized form of the polynomial. I would like to restate. What is important is this part of finding the two numbers. The rest of it is simple. So the procedure remains the same. Split the coefficient of the middle term, expand the brackets and grouping. This topic gets even more interesting when negative terms are present. Something like x squared plus x minus 6. We will factorize this polynomial next.